Informational realism is the, the view that I am pushing in my book, Being as Communion. The idea is that fundamental stuff of the world is information, that it's not matter, uh, that, it is, uh, that it is information. Uh, now, I think one way I could try to make this plausible, so it's not just that it's like, well, uh, this is now a magical word, information, we're just going to say everything is information. I mean, you've got to give it some content, it's, it's got to have some bite. Uh, so, uh, the way, I think one way you can perhaps see uh, how this works is, think of the um, uh, search for the, the Higgs boson recently at CERN, the nuclear uh, uh, facility and uh, particle accelerator in uh, Switzerland. Uh, how did they know that they had found this Higgs boson? You know, does a particle approach them and say, here, I'm the Higgs boson? You know? No, what they're going to do is they're going to look at some scatter diagrams and they're going to look for some characteristic signature behavior of this particle that, that they would expect on the basis of the standard model in particle physics. And so then they see that this scatter, you know, and this is a, this widely reported. I mean, you know, you saw NPR and other news services showed this scatter diagram. Well, that scatter diagram, that's a diagram that shows certain paths which the particle took or, uh, or as it exploded or whatever. And that diagram is going to be characteristic of that, that particle as predicted by the standard model. If it had been a different, taken a different form, we would not have said, oh, there's the Higgs boson. But we saw that pattern, therefore we said Higgs boson. And so it's that pattern one pattern to the exclusion of others that tells us that we're dealing with this particle. And what I find interesting also though about, because the main, my, my main the dialectic in this book is with materialism. And that's, that's the, the view that I'm, uh, I'm uh, squaring off with there. And you find that uh, uh, with materialism, when people are looking for the particles, it's that they're always, though, in the end, finding these patterns. These particles, they, we know that we're dealing with a particular type of particle because of the way it interacts with other particles and because of the characteristic signature or information that it displays. And so what I'm saying is, in the end, all we really have is the information. We don't, you know, there's the sense that there's some sort of uh, deeper material reality, and I would say, no, it's, it's always information. It's information all the way down. Whenever we analyze further, we don't just have some sort of generic schmoo of matter. Matter always seems to come to us with a particular identity, and that identity is conveyed informationally. And so when I say I'm an informational realist, it's that what we deal with in the world as scientists, as metaphysicians, is, uh, is information.